Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on Brown Channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's now in solving in class again today. How have you been? We are going to show you how to perform the reverse of split. On our previous video, we've shown you how you can split a vector, let's say vector data right good. So we use them this as the example and then we split it to this particular um, layer, right? Good. Now, we are now assuming that you have different vector layers just like this and then you want to merge them together or you want to join them together or you want to dissolve them together, whatever semantics we are going to use. That's what we are going to do on today's video. So thanks for coming to class, for coming to the channel for the first time. You can encourage us by subscribing and if you are a returning viewer, thanks for always um, checking up on us. Now you have um, different vector layers and then they have um, similar attributes. They can be merged together to have um, a composite um, vector layer, which we are going to do on today's video. So let's say we have um, all of these vector layers. We are assuming that we got them separately. Maybe we want to combine um, data from different sources or maybe we want to create a better visualization there are so many because we needed to group them right good there are about 36 layers right good so we needed to group them so we wanted to create a better layer for visualization or perhaps we are preparing all of these layers to a single layer for maybe analysis so these are some reasons why you would want to combine or maybe merge or dissolve your layers right but so the process is you come down to vector then still under our data management tools you come down to merge vector layers now from the description we have here this algorithm combines multiple vector layers of the same geometry type into a single one now when they mean geometry type you know we have point line polygon is in multi points and stuff like that so for them to be combined the multiple vector layers are supposed to be or must be of the same geometry type right good now the attribute field which is the attributive radar which is very important of the result layer will contain fields from all input layers so if the fields with the same name but different types are found then the exported field will be automatically converted into a string type field New fields storing the original layer name and store and source are also what added right good now these are conditions or these are scenarios that you can possibly um, encounter when you are merging what the vector layers so if you have um, when you are merging and then the fields on your attribute are the same but of different type the the result has been stated the new field will be automatically converted into a string field type right good a string type field rather a string type field right good. so by the time you go through this description it's going to inform you maybe whatever you want to achieve so for the input layer you click on this then now we have um, different vector layers that we have on our layer panel added towards the input layers right good so remember that um, we have more than what we need what we are trying to merge is everything except this one because this is a composite we are not merging the composite as well right good so you can see the the crs of each of those what layers right good epsg 4326 because i think we use them wgs 4 that's the geographic for all of them right good there was also a condition for the destination crs of the merged layer right good. so by the time you go through it you will see it so since um they are already loaded we can just select them however if they are not loaded you click on what add files then um, under the add files you navigate to the folder where you have what the different um, vector layers then you can select all of them right good so since they are already added this uh, particular process or this particular procedure will be skipped so you now select all so you click on select all so all of them have been selected right good so you come down and then you on select this particular one because we don't want to add this composite in our what in our merging right good so you click on okay 
you have what 36 um, inputs selected right good remember the other day when we made the other video we told you that we are having what 36 um, layers from what from the split now the destination crs is optional but if you still want to specify let's um, leave it at um, wgs 64 then the merge layer you can leave it as um, a scratch layer or you leave it um, you save it to a file so that let's save it to a file so we are working on a folder called um, merge vector layers and then let's call this um, merge right good so you click on what save right now we have um, all the parameters set and then we can now click on run Good. So we have what the algorithm has finished running. We can just close this. Move out of group, right? Good. So it's out. Let's um, minimize that, and we can decide to uncheck this to see the mesh data now, right? Good. That's a merged SS. Then this is the previous um, composite of the shape file of the vector data before it was split right good so now we've actually merged or let's say dissolve them or we combine them together so we are no longer seeing it as the split let's now come down to the attribute table because so much has been said about the attribute table so we are going to compare the attribute table of this with the attribute table of our former let's say of the composite right good so now let's see the both tables let's keep this like this and that so we have um one two okay we have id zero iso now the only difference between the attribute table of our initial vector data and that of the the merge vector data are these two fields that's the layer and the path right good now the layer defines the vector layer which was actually split and then the part shows the direction on how you can get to this particular vector layer on your pc however almost every other thing was actually the same so most of those conditions of having a um, different data type and then converting it to a string type data or a string um, data type has actually or did not actually occur so maybe when you're working on yours and then you encounter that you should just um, know that it was stated in the description right so we can see that this is the attribute table of our new merge mss and then the fields are same as the other one just the layer and the part added towards to the field right good so we have actually shown you how to split a vector layer and then we've also shown you how to merge the vector layer subsequently so we believe provided them solution to this particular surveying GIS remote sensing related problem. If you have any issue, you can always um, contact us and then we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So until we see you on our next video, ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.